Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's particular video, we are going to learn Bootstrap. So first of all, what is Bootstrap? In Bootstrap is a website or Bootstrap is a service company which provides you the templates. Templates of what? Templates of thumbnail, uh, templates of buttons, templates of uh, navigation bar, templates of cards and every components which helps you to make your own website. Or here you can see this is the Bootstrap website. There are many components in itself like navigation bar. So this blue line is the navigation bar which helps you to navigate your website and this is the uh, text format and this is in aligned text format which is justified center and so you don't have to uh, learn all the all the things which you uh, have to learn for uh, for make the front end developer like html css javascript there are many frameworks which you can learn and make your own website but you for the bootstrap in the bootstrap path is different from the front end development like in front end development you have to learn the skills you have to learn coding but in bootstrap framework you don't have to uh, learn every details or in depth you don't have to learn in depth you just uh, you just have to know few things and then you go for to so before going forward i just recommend you that use any id what is id integrated development environment so you don't have to worry about the name that integrated development environment no it's just a simple id here in this video i'm using visual studio code you can use any other uh, any other service of writing a code in visual studio code or in this id we can write our website code and here there we can make our website so first of all just go on the visual studio code if you want to download visual studio code just go on the chrome and write the visual studio code install and just install visual studio code i recommend you that uh, download al also MingGW compiler that compiler helps you to compile your code uh, to the end results uh, like if you learn any languages like C++ Java it helps you to compile your code so without any without further ado just get started so first of all after uh, for the Visual Studio code you have to make one folder of your website so I make here the folder bootstrap prac here you can see that this bootstrap prac uh, folder holds our all codes html cc javascript folds of our website so your whole website is in one folder you can just simply simply know that okay so after that just open the visual studio code after downloading the visual studio code you just encounter this page page so after after this page i hope on this stage you can cop up with me uh, so after uh, installing the live server so how to install here is the install button i just installed already installed that's why it's not showing me but you can install it from here after installing it you can see the live option here like here wait a minute this is the live option what the live option use this live option helps you to create your own server so for the website i just want to tell you that for the website there are two things first is hosting there is and second is domain for the particular website you have to you want your domain to use other public as well this website is also accessible to other public so that's why you have to uh, purchase the domain and hosting but in the practice in the practice session or in the uh, projects in our personal project we don't want to public it we don't have to uh, we don't have to uh, give money on that so for that we use live server live server is the personal server which helps you to generate your website without any uh, purchasing or without any hosting or domain so it's live so there are many types of live server like XAMPP or there are many other as well which helps you to provide your personal server but i prefer live server because it's integrated with the visual studio code and it's very helpful and just just go for it so first of all i i downloaded i installed this then just cancel it and after that just make the one file what file html file so first of all here i can make the HTML file. So dot HTML file uh, required to make a HTML file. Then just enter it. You can have the HTML your HTML file. After that, what you have to do? Just go on the Bootstrap. So first of all, here is the first step. So there is one. Uh, there are the three people who can use this Bootstrap. First people who do not know the coding, who do not want to know the coding or do do not want to learn it. Just I just you want the website or just you want the components in your website as as you want and just proceed it. So these people are very 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 targeting for the bootstrap services. Okay, this is the main uh, main use of the bootstrap. Second thing is you are a developer, you know the, all the front end development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, but you are not uh, you are not uh, willing to uh, make buttons again and again, make cards again and again. You know everything, but you do not willing to uh, make uh, again and again. So you can use the bootstrap as well. So there is no problem 
in using bootstrap there are many people who are telling that bootstrap is a copy paste service yes it is a, yes it is a copy paste service but if you know everything or if you want anything particular then it is the very good service it saves your time it saves your energy so then these are the two or three or three types of people who can use the bootstrap but do not use the bootstrap for your main or just uh, I, what i can say that your core project because bootstrap has the limited options of websites or components it do not provide you the ultimate variety of uh, products which you want there are many common products which you are uh, seeing in the bootstrap and you do not want that your website is very common to use but if you want any particular website which you uh, modified in future but just if you want website in one day in 10 minutes or in 20 minutes you can use bootstrap so let without any further ado let's get started with the bootstrap so here i can go on the bootstrap page uh, you can write on the chrome uh, getbootstrap.com or just write bootstrap you can land on this page so first of all i just want to tell you that this is the version 5 so version 5 is the version which is more uh, useful for the people who are make the buttons or who are making customizing the button or making the products buttons components not only buttons there are many components like nav bar anything that just want to tell you that components so this version 5 is for components making or you can also make you are also copy pasting here but i i recommend you that just go on the version 4 version 4 is very 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 useful because here you just have to copy the code and paste it in your visual studio code and just run your website so for that what you want to do just go on this page land on this page so here are many 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 components utilities extend margins layouts everything everything you want to make your own website so just uh, read the introduction and just go here and down and here you can see that there is a starter template this starter template helps you to make your own website so this is the code you don't have to worry about what is what the code written here and what is this meaning you don't have to uh, know about meaning if you don't want to but if you want to learn just go learn in html because this code it is doc file is in html so this html file you have to copy paste in your html file here so how to do it and what are the things which you are required to do that first of all just go on the copy option you can copy this and after here you can just paste it simple Control s for saving this file is safe so how to run this website so i can i can tell you that congratulations you make your first website so this is website and i want to show you that just go on the go live button after the go live button your website is ready yes it is your website it is your website if you have your domain or hosting you just uh, access from here access here you can uh, access from here but this is a live server id okay so that's why he's showing this code link okay this is html code link so here you can website is ready yes it is a fully fledged website but i don't that this website is very ugly you don't want this website hello world what is this website this no use of this website so for that we use navbar and other components to make this website beautiful so first of all just go on the if you don't want to uh, make your website on the microsoft edge browser or if you have any browser biased issue that if you want this website only in a chrome then just copy this link control c and just go on the chrome okay i, I open pycam okay so here paste your url and control s you can see your website is running in the uh, website is running in the chrome okay so here you can learn on the chrome as well but i am not i am comfortable with the uh, microsoft edge as well so here you can see this is your code so after that you want navbar so just go on the uh, bootstrap page here you can see the components in components there are many components many many components like see here badges uh, there is a breadcom buttons button groups card there are many options so here if you scroll down there are many options and this is navbar what is navbar this is navbar like see here is the blue color navbar here you can see the download button which is hover it this is this is this method is called hovering if i hover it it will change its property so it's called hover so this is the navbar you don't have to learn the whole basics around it but if you want this type of navbar in your website just go on the navbar after going to the navbar here you can see that if you want this type of navbar in your website uh, just uh, copy paste this code okay so here i can copy this code and just go here and uh, so this is body so this is the body so if i do not want the navbar in the in the section of hello world below the section of hello world you have to paste in here here, here you can see body just enter it and paste it after pasting it just uh, i recommend that right click and format document 
After right click on format document and control S, your website is ready. So what is format document? Format document is for the formatting the uh, uh, alignment of the code. The code is very messy after pasting or copying it. The format document helps you to just align it in a manner. It doesn't change any code or it doesn't change make any effect. Okay. So after here you can see that this is our nav bar. See, this is our nav bar. This is our nav bar. This is our website. So it's working like this it's working it's really working see test it's working it's working so you don't want your nav bar uh, having a name nav bar so if you are if you want to change it you can change it here for example this is the nav bar and i can show you the options of like here you can write your nav bar is uh, like uh, practice like here i can write the practice Here I can name the practice home link. Uh, you can change the home option, link option, anything you want. So this is the drown drop menu option. This is the menu option. You can see the menu. I will show you. Just save the control S and just go on your website. Here you can see there is a practice word here in the in the place of navbar. So this is the very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful website. You can customize it anything you want. And if you want to change this, just go on this hello world. Uh, yes, yes. So this is hello world. So this is hello world. You can see the heading tag so if you do not want hello world or if you want it you don't have to worry about it i don't want it so i'll just remove it completely and control s uh okay wait a second after clicking control s the saves are changes and here you can see that our navigation bar is ready so how to implement cards and everything to your website so for that just go on the bootstrap here you can see there are many things like cards here you can see the one card what is the card card is this thing you can apply your courses your youtube videos your anything to put on this card this is the image section here you can see the card name here you can see for few information about the card and here go somewhere like if you click on this button you can visit any other page so we want this uh, card in our website so for how to do it so first of all this is the code given here just copy the code after copy the code you can just uh, go on your, our website and then copy it here just paste after pasting it, just remember to format this document. It's very neat and clean. It's make our code clean. So control S save and then go on website. So he see here you can see the view card. So there is no image. That's why it's showing no image. Uh, so that's why it's showing this. But after applying the image, it's it feels very beautiful. I can just show you that. Just go on the any one wait second, wait second, wait second, wait second, wait second, wait second. What's this? Okay, so go on to this and uh, just write bootstrap images after just i'm just showing you the images so here you can see if you want any google image or you can you if, if you want to use any online image just go on the image and right click and open image in web after open image in web you can see this is the web image just copy paste its url Control c and go on your code after go on your code you can see this is the card and this is the image option so in the image option you can see src src is you don't have to worry about src what is src what is this just paste this image link in src so after pasting it just format document and control s after that you can see your website now see this is your form this is your go card this is your website so this is fully fledged website you can use this website for any other use like if you want this website is used for redirecting the course section courses section the youtube video section recommendation good courses anything you want you can use this website and just go for it like if you want to go somewhere this go somewhere is disabled because i do not give any link to go somewhere okay so this is how you can also change the alignment of this you can uh, make this card here 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 in any center you can now see in the alignment option like if you want to align all the items in your website or if you want to move few options here and there there are few technicalities like you have to learn few properties like alignment and positions padding margin there are many things in css you have to learn few things in css in this particular video it's not possible to teach everything for to make website like uh, moving object and position aligned i just give you the names of the properties which you have to learn it alignment flexbox uh, alignment flexbox uh, then you can learn i just recommend that whole learn the whole css because it's helped you to create your good website or beautiful website padding margin as well okay you can learn all these things so after this i just want to put a link of this go somewhere button so how can i do that 
just go on the any link for like if i if i want to if i want to uh, if i want to link the my linkedin account so you are rather if i write my name and here you can see this is my linkedin account if i want to redirect user in my linkedin account or anywhere you want anywhere you, you want to redirect just copy this link and go for your website so this is my website and here you can see this is the card in our card there is a go somewhere button in go somewhere button this is the href link href link is used to redirect in the web page my my portfolio okay so here i can uh, write the my portfolio car name and control s then here you can see write any information about anything like if you want any information about uh, like uh, anything like you want you want to my name is my name is aradya pathak okay i i am 19 year old and anything i love computer okay so here if i save this code and go on the browser section okay wait so this is this is my portfolio website i am aradwada gallery your you can make your portfolio website like for instagram for facebook for anything for your projects as well make your projects give their domain name make their link and then paste the link here in the button section and you can uh, access all your courses from here so it is kind of a portfolio website or here you can also write your name as well so this is customizable this is there are more stuff in it there are many things to do for it but if you want to make a full fledged well website you have to learn few things of coding as well so this is there is no thing that you can do not want to learn anything from scratch you you if you are a commerce student or if you are art student you can make your bootstrap website so i i think it's possible but it's not appropriate to say that because if for making website you have to learn few things compulsorily so this is the journey this is the journey of learning so if you want any website just go for the bootstrap and learn a uh, building it but i recommend to that make your own website for your own code because it's give you the real satisfaction the real satisfaction is important nothing matter nothing matter in front of it i in my personal projects in the i i actually made few projects on html css javascript in every project i do not use bootstrap because i do not want to spoil my hard work i make every website from my heart and i don't want to spoil it by giving the service company credit okay so it's my feeling or it's my use case as actually if if anyone tell me to want to make a website in 5 minutes and give me that work then i definitely use the bootstrap because smart thinking is always bro so, <coughs> using a bootstrap is a smart way actually it saves your time so it do not have to ego issue there is i am not using bootstrap for that and this reason this is very useful services you can use as well so this is how you can make your website i hope that you can build your own website as well if you learn new things in this video or you can you you are able to make this type of pages just please like share and subscribe and please drop the comment it will really really help me to make such type of video in future so guys i will see you in next video bye bye